All right, in this lab, we're going to work with some erosion. So what we have here is we have a plastic bottle that's cut in half. We have sand or dirt. You can use soil. I used sand so that I can create little landforms. And then you can put some rocks in there or trees or whatever you feel you want to make your little ecosystem out of. You're going to need a collection cup, which is just a clear little cup. You're going to need books or other things that you can stabilize and lift up the back end of it. See if you can see, we have roughly an angle. Like when you go down a slide, you want it to flow downwards. The next thing you will need so that you can take your measurements is a ruler. You're going to measure how much water filled in the cup. If you can, you can dip your ruler. If you just want to measure it on the side, you can do that. Or if you want, you can put little markers and mark little spots for your one inch, your two inch, your one and a half inch. You're going to need water and you're going to need a measuring cup. For the purpose of this lab, we're using a half cup increment each time we go. We're going to do this lab four times. The first time, we are going to introduce the water very slowly. So you want to just barely let the water trickle down. And try not to ruin your books. As the water goes in, the sand that I have is able to actually absorb this water. So we don't see any of it coming out of the front. Is a slow introduction of water. Do you see very many changes to the landforms? Which parts of the sand are moving? Which parts are staying still? These are all observations you want to record. Now look at the color of the water that's going into the sand. And look at the color of the water coming out of the sand. Why do you think it's different? Do you think there's anything inside that water? Let's look at our landforms. Did they change very much shape? No, not too much. Do you see our rocks down here? You can actually see the little pebbles now. We didn't see that before, we just saw sand. Now we're going to do it again, but we're gonna go a little bit faster now with our water. Oh, yeah. Let's first measure, sorry. Almost forgot the measurements. First, measure how much water. And that's at about what? What do you see? I see it's almost at half an inch. Okay, let's dump this water. This is how much water is actually half a cup. So it was less than the half a cup. Now remember, the next time we go, there's already water in our soil. So it may equal out to more. So now it's time to go a little bit faster. Uh-oh, what do you see happening? Do you hear that? What happened to the landform?
what's left behind. We see our big rocks still. So our landform flattened down a little bit. Kind of smoothed it out, didn't it? Let's look at our water. Oh, look at that water. Oh, look. Do you see that in the water? That was the noise we were hearing. You see all that sediment? Let's dump that out. And it had a whole bunch of the sand at the bottom. So now we're going to pretend it's a really bad thunderstorm and all the rain's coming down really quickly. Are you ready? Because this is going to go pretty fast. What happened? What happened to our landform? What didn't move? What did not change? Let's take a close look at our collection cup. Oh, look at all that. So this is half a cup. And then this is what just came out. Wow, that's about a little over one and a half inches. So let's dump this one. And now it's going to be a hurricane. All right, last time. We're going to use the big pour. You see, that's a little bit more than half a cup. Right, all the water. What changed? What stayed behind? And what happened to our water? We're gonna use the bottom thing. Look at all that sediment that fell out. And we can measure it. Oop. We have about two and a half inches of water and almost three quarters of an inch of deposition. So that's the soil that came from all up in here and deposited into the bottom of the cup. So what you just saw was erosion and how it changed the landscape.